s w a d i k a p and welcome to Phuket Extra, brought to you by PVCPhuket.com. I'm Chris Housen, filling in for JP Mustanza. Now, these are the stories making waves in Phuket for Thursday, April 4th. An Austrian man is facing assault charges today after allegedly choking his taxi driver for being told not to smoke in the vehicle, leading to a car accident. After being collected from Phuket International Airport, 58 year old Grenau k a b u r g e r is said to have lit up a cigarette inside the car. When the driver told him smoking was not allowed, the man allegedly reached from the back seat and began choking him. During the struggle, the taxi lost control and slammed into the back of a private car waiting at a red light in Tepka c e n t r y The driver of the vehicle that was hit told reporters that as he exited his car, he witnessed the assault still taking place and, together with another bystander, interfered to rescue the driver. k a b u r g e r has agreed to pay for damages to both cars involved in the collision and is set to face assault charges in court today. In a somewhat similar story, police have yet to confirm charges against a Ukrainian woman for allegedly threatening a taxi driver with a knife over a disputed taxi fare. After videos of the incident circulated widely online, the taxi driver has clarified to reporters what happened, saying she picked up the woman from Phuket International Airport on Monday night and was asked to take her to a villa in Talang. However, the woman soon changed her destination to Patong. Where she got out to walk around for a while before getting back into the taxi and continuing to her final destination in Rawai. The taxi driver explained that these extra stops would require extra fees as well, which she claimed the woman accepted. However, after arriving at the One World One Home Nyharn Hotel, the woman got out of the taxi and walked into the hotel without paying. In the dispute that followed, and as shown in the videos posted online, The Ukrainian woman walks over to a small kitchen area in the reception and picked up knives, which she appeared to use to threaten the taxi driver. Despite filing a report on the incident, Chelong police have yet to post any report regarding the incident. A popular live aboard dive boat has suffered extensive damage after a fire broke out just north of Phuket. The Royal Thai Navy 3rd Area Command was alerted to the boat fire at 6 30 p.m. and rushed to the scene where they successfully extinguished the blaze. The extent of the damage has yet to be reported, though it is expected to be considerable. But luckily, no people were injured by the fire or by the efforts to douse the blaze. In the ongoing crackdown on foreigners working illegally in Phuket, tourist police have announced the arrest of a Russian man for illegally working as a tour guide. By law, working as a tour guide is an occupation reserved for Thai nationals exclusively in the kingdom, and work permits cannot be issued to foreigners for such an occupation. The 42 year old Russian national has been taken into police custody to face charges, however, the name of the tour boat operator was not included in the report. And Phuket Provincial Police have arrested a man after a raid in Ratsada landed more than 42,000 methamphetamine pills. Police said it took a month to track down the suspect after a raid on a house in Phuket where meth and crystal meth were discovered along with a modified BB gun. Police named the man as a 35 year old Grabi resident known as Dr. Samat. He now faces charges of illegal possession of a Category 1 narcotic with intent to sell, illegally using a Category 1 narcotic, possession of an illegal firearm, and illegal possession of ammunition. That's all for Phuket Extra today, brought to you by PVCPhuket.com. For more on all these stories and more, please visit ThePhuketNews.com. 
Phuket's rapid modernization has made it one of the world's premier holiday destinations. Investors can still buy quality condominiums for as low as 75,000 US dollars and luxury properties can go all the way up to 20 million. Condominiums in Phuket are a safe, secure bricks and mortar investment offering foreigners freehold ownership. Call or email Thai Residential, Phuket's number one trusted real estate advisor to find your perfect Phuket property.